uh, a couple of big stories around, uh, but of course the biggest, without any question, is this story on the coronavirus. Let's kick off with tomorrow's Daily Telegraph and the headline is China Kids Stay Home, Back to School Plea. That's the headline. Story here by Claire Armstrong and Carla Hildebrandt. Fears over the fast spreading uh, coronavirus outbreak has prompted the New South Wales government uh, um, stunning plea to parents not to send their children to school or daycare if they have recently been in China. The edict came just five hours after New South Wales Health Minister Brad Hazard assured families it was safe for children to return to school if they had no symptoms or exposure to the killer virus, underlining the quickly growing concerns about a global pandemic. Now, of course, if we head to the Cairns Post, uh, once again, we have the children's angle. Uh, healthy future is the headline. Uh, very, very well designed front page. Plea to look beyond virus with more than one million extra Chinese set to visit. Uh, the far north uh, tourism industry is uh, stealing itself for the full impact of the coronavirus with long-term Chinese tourism projections offering a silver lining for the future health of the sector. Now, uh, Lisa Goddard, this is a major concern, and the major concern is uh, particularly for parents who are sending their kids to schools, particularly with, you know, so many, so many Chinese students now in Australian schools. Lisa, the problem, I think, is that there's a bit of mixed messaging going on and, and perhaps even some double standards because we've got you know, messaging from the, the national health authorities saying that there are no orders for children not to be, you know, across the country to be kept home if they've been in contact with, you know, family who have been in China. However, a lot of the private schools, particularly here I've seen in Brisbane, messages are being sent to parents to say if your children have been in contact and not only with family members or have, have travelled to China itself, but also Hong Kong, then to keep them home for that 14-day incubation period to watch them. And, of course, Stuart Home School here in Brisbane, which is one of the elite girls' schools, has actually locked down 10 Chinese students for incubation over that 14-day you know, period to make sure that they are OK. So from a parent's perspective, there would be that concern when you have schools taking these measures. But, of course, you know, it's a fine line, isn't it, between panic mm. and... You know, community protection. It's interesting, Michael. I had a call earlier tonight from uh, one of the parents at the school my young bloke goes to, and she's a former teacher, and she's keeping her two kids at home, regardless of what the direction is, or not the direction, but the recommendation from the school. She says, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I think there's a number of students at that particular school uh, that have been to China in the past uh, four to six weeks who are embarking upon the, the two-week incubation stay-at-home period. Uh, but it is a real worry at the moment for, uh, for parents, isn't it? Yeah, and I think uh, look, there's a lot of panic and uh, you know, concern, uh, understandably, given that this virus, I think, takes about 10 days for any... any you know, signs of it to show up if one person has been infected. So, uh, look, we are seeing uh, uh, those mixed messages. I think private schools are, uh, a number of private schools are caving into, uh, you know, parents uh, being very concerned about um, their children, and whereas the, the more sober kind of health authority warnings, uh, a bit more to, to trying to, to be calm about the whole thing, uh, is being ignored by those private schools because they've got. Uh, probably parents paying very high fees, demanding that the schools take action, and so the schools are responding. Uh, it's not particularly helpful, I don't think, though, because it does just create this confusion and, and a sense of panic. Uh, and uh, mm. as I said, it is understandable. I went to an a, a, a eye specialist this morning with my two-year-old son, and uh, I was asked to fill out a form about my travel uh, any, any travel I'd taken to China and, and sign a form to say that I hadn't actually been to China in the last uh, couple of months. So this type of thing also, I think, spreads that fear when you're just going about your routine daily business and having to fill out um, forms uh, you know, without any kind of screening. It's just fill out this form uh, in case you might be at risk. Mm. Well, Michael mentioned private schools and... Uh, some of them are taking drastic measures to limit the potential spread of the coronavirus and some students are being kept in isolation under strict screening processes.
Ten Chinese boarders at Stewart Home School are facing the prospect of being quarantined on a separate floor for two weeks. Uh, Queensland, uh, as a world-class education system, uh, has many Chinese students that pay for the privilege of coming to our great state schools, uh, and uh, those schools are certainly uh, on high alert. Doctors and nurses are checking the students daily for any sign of the virus. They will be allowed to go to classes, but only if they pass screening. Unions representing teachers believe the measures will protect educators from falling ill, but unease is running high. Certainly the uh, messages coming into our office already uh, indicate there's some anxiety. Other students who have travelled to high-risk areas or who've had contact with someone who has will be banned from going to school for 14 days unless they obtain a medical certificate. It's not just Stuart Home School that's adopting these screening measures. At least two other private schools in Brisbane and surrounds are taking a similar stance and schools across the nation are following suit. Two Adelaide private schools have banned students who have returned from China in the past two weeks. Some in New South Wales are doing the same. We're asking parents to keep their children at home. We know uh, that many in the community have been uh, wanting to see this and I think it's important that we are taking this as a precautionary measure uh, in line with community sentiment but also knowing that we're doing everything that we can uh, even though the risk is low to ensure the safety of our children in that school environment. Two and a half thousand out of six thousand international students at Victorian schools are from China. We were following the advice of our counterparts in the Department of Health and Human Services and the medical experts that there was no need to exclude any student from school unless they fell into one of two categories. Uh, the first was that they were confirmed as having contracted the virus, in which case obviously they should be seeking treatment and, uh, and excluded for the period uh, uh, which they were undergoing treatment or if they'd had close contact with anyone, in which case they'd be excluded for 14 days. In Western Australia, the state government is working on a strategy with public schools before students return next week. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.